This is yesterday. Two, day, two days ago, we we're learning about Kriya Satera, about if there's a coin, you have to give a coin first. If there's no coin and you give a lady, if you, are, you, may, uh, you live long. Okay? And um, now, what happens if a coin, there's a coin in the show, but he's in the middle of uh, like the Shema Brachis? We normally you're not supposed to call up somebody to that bracha. So the din is you don't call up the kayan. You call up a Yisrael or a Levi because he's not allowed to be called up at that point. What happens if somebody is called up, you, the, the guy that called up didn't realize the guy's in between Baruch Hu and Shemun Esrei, where you're not allowed to call somebody to the turn, but they did. So the din is you go up to the Aliyah, you say Baruch Hashem, you the whole thing, but you don't read along together with the Balkari. You don't read along like everybody is supposed to do. In Pesukah de Zim, I mean, between Baruch Shem and Yishtavach, you could read along. But after Baruch Hu, until Shemun Esrei, the din is, if they call you, they're not supposed to call you up. If they call you up, you go, you say the brachas, but you don't read, you just follow with your eyes, you don't read along. So the din is, even if that's the only Kayan in Shul, you still can't call him up because he's not supposed to be called up at that part of davening because it's considered... I have sick, it's considered a separation. Now, what happened? What? What brach of No, because he's listening to the guy read. So, because he's not reading along. No, but it's not a brach of because there's a din shamea ka'ina. Listening is like you said it. So, therefore, he's listening to the guy read it. And it's like he said it, but he's not separating, not being mafsik. Now, what happens if you call up a coin to the minion and he's not there? <laughs> you call up a coin, either he left, he just was never there, you thought he was there. So you can't call up somebody else, even as a coin in this place. You can't call the guy up. Let's say there's one coin, uh, Yitzchak ben Avram, and there's another coin, Yosef ben Yaakov, okay? So you called up uh, Yitzchak ben Avram Akoyen, you turn around, he's not there. But there's another guy, Yosef ben uh, Yaakov Akoyen. So the din is he goes up for the Aliyah, but you can't call him up. You can't say, uh, why not? Because by calling up another Koyen, it gives the impression that the first Koyen is not kosher. And therefore we have to call up somebody. People don't realize the guy is not here. <laughs> and therefore you... But so the din is, if you call, or a levy, the same thing, by the way. If you call up a levy, he's not there. So you have to, call, you have, so either another levy takes the job or whatever, a crime would, I mean, the Yisrael would take the job. The din is, you don't call him up, he just goes up and says the brachas himself. Okay. Um, now, what happens? There's no crying in show. Okay, you call up uh, Yisrael instead of the Kayin. And he said, Baruch Hashem and the Kayin walks into the room. Now the Kayin, there is a Kayin, but he already began the Brachas. So the din is, um, he, yeah, you continue where you left off. Um, okay, that's important din. So what happens in that situation? What? What happens? Nothing. Yisrael gets the Aliyah. There was no crime when you called him up or when he started saying the brachas, he wasn't there. What? He still lose. He still lose. Bottom line. Now, a very interesting din is you're not allowed to call up two brothers one after another. You're not allowed to call up a father and a son one after another. Okay? And it doesn't matter whether they're half-brothers, fa same father, same mother, it doesn't matter. You don't call up two brothers in a row unless if there's two safer taters, okay, so you gave one, let's say, shvi, and now you're going to give the next one maftir because it's in two separate safer taters, it doesn't matter. What's the reason why you're not allowed to call up two brothers? Very simple, eye and hara. Evil eye. So what happens if the brothers say, you know, we don't care about it. We don't care about the evil eye. You're still not allowed to do it. You have, a, a, you know, many times you have a problem. Uh, two brothers have yard sight. Two brothers have yard sight. They come to show on a Monday or a Thursday. Yeah, so you got a problem. 
So logically, what you do in that case is if there's a coin in the shul, you say to him, listen, this is a unique situation. Two brothers need an aliyah. And then you give the first one instead of the coin, and then you give the other one the third aliyah. Unless they both on the team. Well, then you got a problem. You got a problem. Uh, I just had a bunch of phone calls like that. There's a bar mitzvah, okay? The kids doesn't know how to read the, the haftar or anything like that, yeah? So, you have to give the kid an aliyah. So, but you, the father also wants an aliyah. So you can't give one levy, and, and what do you do with the other one? Now, if you're not Chabad, that you add aliyahs, so then you can add an aliyah, and like we learned, when you add aliyahs, the last one, you can give a coin or a levy. Right, but in this case, you can't do it. If, you, if you're Chabad, you don't, what? Because it's a separate thing. It's a, there's a break between the two. There's Habit, Lilith. It's, it's, it's a new thing. By the way, there's another interesting thing. Father and son, you can't call up one after another. And a father and the grandson, who's the son of the son. Also can't. Also can't. The grandson of a daughter... You could. Brothers-in-law. Brothers-in-law, not a problem if they talk to each other. Uh, (laughs) Father-in-law. The only problem is two brothers, father and a son, and father and grandson if it's the son's son. The daughter is okay. Daughter is okay. Because it's not the lineage of the... In fact, there's a story about it. Tzamech Sedek and Al-Trebe. Al-Trebe had... One aliyah, and he, the Samach Sadiq had not the next aliyah. Even though he was his grandson, but it was his grandson from the mother, not from the father. The Shkhlarach, it says you can't do it if it's a son, I mean a grandfather's son, son. But if it's daughter's son, then you could give a grandfather in a... In a, a, a huh? Father and daughter, it depends where. <laughs> First of all, what do you mean Chabad doesn't believe in Ayin Hara? I, the Gemara talks about Ayin Hara. It's a, it's, a, it's a basic concept in Judaism. Bil, the Torah says, what did Bilam when he wanted to curse the Jews? What did Balak took him? Yeah, to give Ayin Hara. But there's never said the three goes Yosef, Yosef Ayin. So you said, there's no Ayin Hara by Yosef. But Rashi brings down last week, I mean uh, two weeks ago, when the brothers went down to Mitzrayim, it said they each went in a separate gate. So there's two reasons. One reason is that each one is going to look for Yais in different neighborhoods. And the second reason is the ten brothers walking together is Ayin Hara. Bilam wanted to give Ayin Hara. There's a din in Allah, has a Kriya Ayin Hara. There's a lot of din like this. You, really, you can't say there's no concept of Ayin Hara in Taylor. What it means far. is it only affects you if you care about it. That's what it says in Sephardim. Is that how you meant to give Ayin Hara to Huh? Yes, yeah, sorry, gave Ayin Hara to Hagen, it affected her. But the, the concept of Ayin Hara exists, it's a Torah thing. It's like, <laughs> people say, Chabad doesn't hold of an Erev. There's a whole tractate of Gemara called Erevin. What do you mean Chabad doesn't hold of an Erevin? Chabad doesn't hold of Erevin under certain situations. And you know things like that. Then Chabad doesn't say no, that you don't hold of Erev. Erev is <laughs> it's a, a rabbinic mitzvah Shlema Melech instituted, and it's a whole Gemara. One of the hardest Gemaras in Shas is Erevin. What do you mean Chabad doesn't hold of Erev? He means we don't hold of carrying in an Erev under all circumstances, depending on what the circumstances. But that's it. Okay.